I got a lot going on in my life. I don't know if you try to research this Ricky thing. I don't know if this Ricky thing's a real thing. I mean, I suppose it is. I know that sounds crazy, right? There's two girls, you know, like, I don't know. But <clears throat> I try not to watch the news because I live in toxicity of people that, you know, just uh, over stuff like that. And um, so everybody was like, don't tell me that, you know, Ricky, you know, like, I don't know why, but that's what they said. I can't see him killing two girls. But I can't see a lot of people killing two people, you know? No, I think it's a story. Really? Yeah, for some reason I do. And then this thing comes up with Ricky. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I know. You know, people say so much stuff to me. Like, I don't believe shit that comes out nobody's mouth. I don't believe, you know, I mean, believe none of what you hear, only half of what you see, or even half of what you see. I mean, you got to piece that shit together and know for yourself. You know, you know what I mean? I don't know the situation. Dad didn't really talk about it that much, to be honest with you. Dad, um, who, Ricky? No. You mean come to where we're at? No. I've maybe seen Ricky when I was a little girl. Uh, well, not, no, I don't watch the news. Um, Kathy told my mom to not tell me, and my mom told me, this shit's fake about Ricky. Like, I never, well, re really remember Ricky. You know, I, I remember maybe meeting him once when I was little, little, because he's older than me. But if, the, if this shit's fake, like, uh, this is sick. It's sick. This is sick. It's sick. I mean, what, what, what's he telling you? Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I, I would like to talk to him. I mean, if he wants to talk to me, no, I've never had a chance to talk to him, you know. But I, I would like, I, I would like to maybe message him, you know. I, um, I appreciate you reaching out to me. I don't know what happened. My cousin knew of him because when died he had to hunt his number down to call him and tell him that's why he's in the obit he never mentioned in that short call that he had a wife or kids so that's why they aren't listed in the obit that's all i know one of my other cousins remembers seeing him at our grandparents sometimes but that's all he remembers i'm very familiar with dna and have had many family members test including and I just know there is no way they had his DNA from the crime scene and just caught him now. If so, the police are idiots, is how I feel about it. But that doesn't mean he did or didn't do it. That's just all I know. Sorry, I just meant they didn't use genetic genealogy to find him through DNA. I'm on every database and opted in, and I've done Parabon Snapshot. He also has a close family member who had DNA taken from police in Indiana for another crime. I've been on that for a while and on GedMatch and opted in as well as FTDNA and everywhere else. I've used my DNA to join genealogical societies as well. If he did do it and they had his DNA, I'm pissed it took them this long. So I just mean if he left DNA at the crime scene, they should have been able to catch him sooner. I'm not saying he didn't do it at all. I have no idea. I also got my paternal uncle to do a Y-DNA test for some genealogical societies as well. So he's an FTDNA too. I am very much a truth seeker. If he didn't do it, I hope that truth comes out too.